Grizzlies. In fact, I love them, except when they're in my camp and eyeballing my meat. But this grizzly isn't the young little whippersnapper we saw earlier. This one is a full-grown, mature adult. Big one, now he's running. He is sprinting. Just flying in. No! No! My gosh. <laughs> Uh, something's going wrong there. I would be um, running the opposite way. <laughs> He's a hunter at heart, and he likes to take us along for his wild adventures, like the time he had to ward off a giant grizzly bear that came dangerously close to camp. Well, that's from the third season of his show, Meat Eater, which premieres tonight on the Sportsman Channel. Stephen Ranella, also the author of the book, Meat Eater, is here. Did, did you, have you had bear meat? A lot of it. Everyone says yeah. it's very greasy. I was, How do I was you eating it last it? night. I mean, it... I like to trim all the fat up away, yep. and it's not as bad. If you get a good bear that's been eating a good diet of, of blueberries or whatever, right. it's, it's remarkably similar to beef. In that well, video that we were seeing there, I mean, yeah. we see more of this on the show. Were you trying to get that bear away from your camp, or were you run? it looked like you were running towards it? Because he was running toward us, and I was running toward him. Because the thinking on it is, is he's coming in, he's coming in to claim what's there, and we had some caribou meat stacked up. So he's coming in to claim what's there. In, in this case, she's coming in to claim what's there. And you're trying to be like, bigger. not a good idea. Because if, if you were just to go the other way, you would lose your stuff. Right, but how does, how does five foot three inch me scare away the grizzly? You add a couple of feet like this, yeah. and then you holler. And a lot of hairspray. But work. you have to feel, you have to believe it and feel it. I have to if you believe the grizzly. If, I, I feel like if you believe it and feel it, they sense that you believe it and feel it. So you believe <laughs> it. So you you <laughs> like personally I believe gonna, I am going to stop you from doing <laughs> that. And thing, does it and work? I just am gonna. <laughs> I've I've done it a handful of times and I haven't had you know I haven't been I haven't even been charged yet. But wow. see, I used to be when I first started hunting a lot in, in areas that had a lot of grizzlies. I used to be just petrified of them. But whatever was in my brain that feared him, it just ran out, like it wore out. And now I, I just not, now I, I welcome their presence. Yeah, you, you, I, I like to be around them, but I don't go out of my way looking for trouble. Two know? questions for you, because well, here you have the carrot. This is actually the caribou meat that was in that show. So yeah, you, so this is. Uh, and you eat everything. I mean, you, you take it, you court, you do everything you can with yeah, the meat. And you eat all it. the edible organs, you know, everything. So, but these, this animal was killed on the, on the actual show that will be airing, you know, the, the season premiere. And it was a hunt. I took the author, Tim Ferriss, out on, on a flying caribou hunt. And oh, yeah, he's a friend of the show. He was just on. Uh, All right, so should we sample something? What's this? This is jerky. This this is like a really simple. This is much, much cleaner and just easier than than the stuff you get in gas Get in there, Tucker. You know, it's just, now, like, this a, is it's just like simply dry. This it's like delicious. spiced and dried. What's your yeah. favorite game? It. Elk, caribou's good. Yeah. I got a question for you. Caribou Some jerky? Or is it yeah, delicious? That's, that's caribou. I got a question for you. Yum. My wife and I were camping Whoa. this summer. Isn't it delicious? And two little black yeah, yeah. bears walked by our camp. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Presumably a mother and a, and a cub walking by. She got so terrified we had to tear down camp. She said, we're going home. I, yeah. I, can't, I'm, I won't be able to sleep tonight. I said, really? They just, wa they just walked by. They'll be, we'll be fine. But they'll can be you, back, won't can they? You, yeah, well, they'll be back. Can you look in the camera right. and tell her to calm down so we can go camping again You're not going to be fine. <laughs> I think she should calm a little bit down. But, but I don't know. I think that you need to find your way to be comfortable like I would never advise someone to go do something that was outside of what they felt was the proper thing to do at a given moment I think it's like, it's like a, you're not helping a, me it's a good way to get in trouble <laughs> yeah but I think you need to make the case to her as your own wife you know I, I have a you know I have a wife I deal with on issues and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good way to put it yeah. I like how husbands <laughs> phrase these things well Steve Ranella uh, great to see you thanks for bringing breakfast for us you can Thank catch you. all of his adventures on Meat Eater it premieres tonight on the Sportsman Channel at 9 p.m. Great to see you. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks, Thanks so much. Everything.